Okay. Welcome everyone to today's meeting. Today, Tony will be presenting to us and telling us um, about an activity he's done in his Year 6 classroom. It's just describing what we see. Um, I didn't see the word I very often in the purposes column. Mm. Two. Starts with two. Mm. Yeah, it often starts with two. I see pages ruled into three columns, so um, there are tables on the pages. And I saw all the columns were filled, like mm. there weren't any blanks. A lot of repetition of might and me. And learn. I see that uh, some students have written much more than others in terms of the sheer volume of words, particularly in the complexities. You know, what aspects of the work provide insights into the students' thinking? I think, Ravi, you raised something yes, before. That, um, they appear to be considering complexities as a form of a challenge or some sort of difficulties that they are um, facing and complexities they associate with not being able to do something. They also really personalise and they often say things like I find it hard to concentrate or I can't find my friends or it's very okay. personalised. I think the purposes column um, is quite positive so there were words like to think, to learn, to have fun it was all more uh, productive, so it's like the positive, perhaps that's how maybe that they understood purposes and complexities to be the positive and negative aspect mm -hmm. of the part. Mm -hmm. And I was interested to notice how uh, in three or four students that I've seen, the purposes column is very similar. So obviously the purpose of a particular part is very clear. I'm wondering if you know that, that child that wrote down those questions about worries, if he or she would have said that aloud or whether it was okay to write it down, felt safer to write it down. I wonder when the children write that um, mightn't have any friends at, at playtime at lunchtime, I wonder if they want Tony to do something about it. So early in the year I wonder how much of last year's experience with routines yes. or with being involved in expressing yourself and being a part of the learning process like teacher director rather than mm. student had to do. What are the implications for teaching and learning that come from this exercise? Uh, where could this work go further to extend and build on their thinking? Any practical possibility? They could do this maybe again at the end of the term and, and you know compare their own um, befores and afters, see if they've you know, found things that they might have thought seen as complex as something that they have a, a handle on. Um. Encouraging children to find complexities and actually work through them, not just see them in a positive light. But it's it, it, it's actually not a stumbling block. It's you should be we should be searching for them. We should be searching for something and then getting to the other side of it and going. Just to sort of respond to our discussion. All done, but have been exposed to this routine, but most of them it's the first time they ever came across it. Just for a few minutes, how a whole process went. Actually, it felt good to get back to, um, yeah. as we were saying last, yeah. last yeah. meeting. Yeah. I really liked it. I thought yeah. it was really yeah. nice to have structure and for our dis discussion yeah. to come back. Like, we were really focused on what we were looking at and we didn't get sidetracked. It really kind of set a good path, set a good direction for today.